So we now know that the iOS screen recording scene is going to undergo a big shift thanks to iOS 11 and its built-in screen recording function. But what about live streaming? Well, that could undergo a revolution soon too because YouTube has officially joined the game. Hello folks, welcome back to the Video Gadgets Journal. And just before we jump into the topic of this particular video, I'm trying out a new camera setup to improve the green screen. So let me know what you think, I'd really appreciate that. Now onto live streaming on iOS. We know it can be done with a lot of technology and a PC or a Mac, as you've seen in my own live streams, but what about directly through an iPad or an iPhone? It can be done with applications such as Vidi, but it's not perfect. We kind of need bigger support. And YouTube, almost under the radar, have done just that. And I didn't even realize this. It was thanks to someone on my Twitter feed who showed me that YouTube had updated their YouTube gaming app to provide live streaming support. But is it any good? Well, the answer is not really, but let's take a look at it and see if there's any promise to what could be the continued revolution of gaming and recording your screen on an iOS device. So when it comes to YouTube gaming live streaming, what are we actually talking about? Well, if we look at the App Store, we're talking about YouTube gaming application. And if I scroll down a little bit on the app description, we find the What's New section, which says includes support for live streaming with Apple's Replay Kit. Ah, now this is where the blocker is to what you might call pure live streaming on YouTube. It's not actually using its own software, so to speak. It's just piggybacking off Apple's replay kit to do live streaming onto its own service. And this already exists through applications such as Mob Crush and Omelette Arcade Pro. But now YouTube, the biggest player in the video market, is joining the cause. What does that actually mean? Well, let's take a look at an example. So we're going to take an example here of a game that includes the replay kit functionality, and that is called High Risers. Essentially means you can record the screen or live broadcast it to applications that support it. And now YouTube Gaming does. So once I'm in the game, there is a record button in the top right hand corner, and if I tap it, it gives me the option to either screen record or live broadcast, but this is strictly within the application itself. If I press start live broadcast, that will give me options to use whatever applications I have on my iOS device that support live streaming. Show is obviously one of them to their own service, but now YT Gaming also does the same thing, but to YouTube and your YouTube account. At this point, you have a couple of limited options, which include the video title, whether you want to live stream publicly or unlisted and the video description that's pretty much it once you press the next and then share button that should start live broadcasting to your YouTube account the problem is there's no way for you to tell when you're actually on your iOS device you're going to need a PC or another device to check your live stream to make sure that it is actually doing what it says it's doing as you can see on my laptop, I'm having to refresh my live stream a couple of times, but eventually it does appear as an event. And then if I click on that event, you should start seeing the live stream, which is about 15 to 20 seconds behind what's actually on your iOS device. In the case of high risers, it does record the game sounds, but it doesn't record the microphone. There is no option and it is never presented to you. Through the aid of a second device, you can clearly see that people are watching the live stream and commenting on it. But the problem is via the iOS device, I have no idea if any of this is happening. So I can't interact with the audience. So it makes it a very passive live stream. People can watch and react to it, but I can't do anything in terms of interacting with this audience. And so at this point, you're probably thinking, well, what's the point in live stream if I can't interact with the audience? And you would be absolutely correct. And have you noticed anything about the live stream at this point? Yep, it's completely stopped. And the iOS device I was using to live stream didn't tell me this at any point. So I happily carried on until I suddenly realized that nothing was happening on the PC. So how would I describe the YouTube gaming live streaming experience? Well, it exists in a very technical sense. You can do it and all the applications are free, but you wouldn't want to. The problem fundamentally with iOS seems to be the replay kit, at least in iOS 10 and below. It's completely half-baked. It gives you the option to broadcast and that is it. And it's fragmented as well. In some applications, you can actually use the face cam so you can talk to your audience. But the big problem always is that you cannot interact with your audience. 
They cannot talk back to you in terms of you being able to read their comments or listen to what they are saying. And that's what the fundamental essence of live streaming is. I would have thought that if YouTube were actually going to incorporate their own live streaming, they'd be able to add extra tools. But then again, it could be the restrictive iOS software that doesn't allow them to put in their own code to make it somewhat of an interactive experience. And as I say, hardly anybody knew about this live streaming feature coming onto YouTube gaming on iOS. So it is under the radar and perhaps they want to keep it that way until they can work on it and actually make it something that's usable. Now I know at this point a lot of you will be thinking of technical questions such as what's a frame rate like and resolution, but you're thinking far too down the road there. We need to get the basics fixed yet and that's not quite there. And I know as a final thought, I've been bashing live streaming and YouTube in this particular video, but there is one silver lining I guess. We are getting closer and closer to a point where we can record our screens and live stream our screens by just using an iOS device and not making it really complicated with certificates or PCs that we need to live stream. We're getting closer, but there's still a long way to go. Thank you very much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And for more iOS screen recording content just like this, subscribe to the Video Gadgets Journal. Enjoy the rest of your tech day. Bye for now. What do you think of a shirt? TIE Fighter? Star? Star Wars? Death Star?